Hi, this is Paul from Self Store All in Kamloops. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about ensuring items placed in self storage. We're going to give you some tips and some important information. We believe that helping you become an educated consumer will make you one of our best customers. We do our best to protect your goods at our self storage facility. Most self storage facilities are really well run and losses are relatively few. For example, in our facility, we take a lot of steps to minimize risk. We've got a very secure fence system. We have lighting. We've got on-site resident managers who are there 24-7. And we have very good video camera systems. Finally, we work with the Kamloops Fire Department to do regular fire safety inspections. So that's our part. You need to think about it from your side. Many people assume, for example, that insurance is going to be provided by the self-storage facility. But our industry, like all warehouse storage facilities across Canada, does not insure the contents. It's up to the renter to insure their own contents. You can do this normally through your homeowner's policy or your rental contents insurance policy. Look at your homeowner's policy and take a moment to think about whether you need to give any special notice for items that are placed in long-term storage, whether there are any special time limits, and finally, look at the deductible level. For an event at your house, you may have chosen to have a relatively high deductible level for insurance. Let's say four or $5,000 deductible, that first part of the loss you'll pay. But for the items that you have in storage, perhaps that's a little bit too high deductible. Another thing is to check whether there's any special notice requirements that you have to give. And finally, consider exclusions. Some items are protected if they're in your home under your policy, but if you take them and put them somewhere else, they're not covered for other than a 30-day 30, 30 limit. Renter's insurance is usually much better because it's a contents insurance policy. It insures your contents usually wherever they're located. But rental insurance also might have a notice requirement or a deductible issue that you need to think about carefully. As you know, we store boats, RVs, trucks, trailers, and boats and vehicles are in a special class for insurance. They're never covered by your homeowner's policy or renter's policy. To cover those, you buy your auto insurance. For example, here in, in British Columbia, we buy it through ICBC. In your boat, we normally have a separate policy. When you move it into a storage facility, again, ask your broker whether there's any special notice requirement or any restrictions because it's not located on your property. There's also an opportunity to save money here. If you've got a vehicle and it's in storage for several months, why pay ICBC the higher rate for on-road insurance? Switch your policy to an off-road policy in storage. It will save you money. Well, you're insuring your items in self-storage. They're valuable to you. Maybe there's a special collection or a hobby. Think carefully about whether you want to spend a little bit extra. You're spending about $100 a month in a typical 10 by 10 unit renting in Kamloops. For a few extra dollars, you can have a much more comprehensive coverage. We can help you. We're not an insurance company, we're not a broker, but there are a few things that we can do to assist you. First, we have inventory sheets that our manager can give you when you move in. You can fill out a detailed description of what it is you're doing and you can take some photographs. The inventory sheet and the photographs will help a lot if you really have to make any insurance claim. It'll help speed up the whole process. The second thing we can do is just the way we operate. We are a well-secured, well-maintained facility, and most insurance companies will recognize that and give you a reduction in rates because you're in a qualified, well-run storage facility. And third, if you want to buy that special contents insurance for self-storage, we have a local broker here in Kamloops who is familiar with these types of policies and can write a program for you. Most importantly, perhaps, is in the unlikely event that there is a claim, you're dealing with somebody locally to get that claim resolved. So I hope you found these tips useful. We like to feel that we're helping you to become an educated consumer and make better informed choices. So whether you store with Self Store All in Kamloops or with another company, 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching and sharing time with us. I hope you found that information about insurance to be useful. We've got more information sheet about insurance as well as insurance inventory list for you. Click on the link below this video and we'll send it to you right away. You'll also be kept well informed about our discounts and special offers in the future. Thank you.